So in this video, we are going to write our Google Maps service. Okay, so I'm going to right click more Google Apps script. And I'm going to give it the name Maps service. Uh, no, that's not so Maps service. Right, so I will have my do get function. Save that. Um, and to make things a little bit faster, um, I'm going to refer to this YouTube video. Now, this channel here, Learn Google Spreadsheets, is this is an awesome channel. I have learned quite a lot from it. Um, so this video in the description it has this link um, you can simply just search for that video on YouTube and then follow this link and this will give us a code that will do almost what we need to do here so it will have a start address an end address um, and then it will return, let's say, the, the, the miles between these addresses, or it, 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 will, it will return how many minutes it will take to go from this address to this address. Okay, so I'm going to copy that function and I'm going to save it and paste it here. Okay, now we're not going to, we're going to amend this, we're going to, we don't need a return type. Um, and what we will do, so let me just say um, modified code from this. Okay, so the explanation of this code is um, provided in the video, so feel free to watch that video before you move on and I really I, I highly recommend this channel this is a really really nice um, channel I've learned quite a lot from it okay so what we really want to do is we just want to return something like um, uh, let's say one mile okay and then comma um, I don't know one mile and then um, five minutes okay so if it if it's if it's a one mile um, distance and it takes five minutes all I want is one comma five okay so um, here we have meters I'm gonna call that uh, Okay, so when we, so for miles, okay, so let's say I'm gonna take off this switch. We don't need that, and we're not gonna return that for now. Let's say let miles equals that, and then for the minutes we read the duration in seconds first and then we divide that by 60 to get the minutes okay right so we don't really need the rest okay so let's just make this look a little bit nicer um, Right, so let me just change this to actually let's make it a const. We make this a const. We also make this a const. And maybe we just we don't need that. So we we don't need this meters. We can just do that here. Um so let's delete that. What else can we change? Okay, so I want to save the miles to the nearest um, 
uh, to one decimal place. Um, so let me just quickly write a function here. Let's say function round two, and then that will take a number, and it will take a round two number as, again as well. Um, right, so what do we need to return here? We need to return math.round okay so we need the number we divide that by the round 2 okay and then once that's rounded so that will round it to the nearest um, unit the nearest one and then we multiply that by round to. What this will do is, if for example, I have a number 5.67, for example, and I, so if I say round to 5.67, if I want it, if I want it rounded to one decimal place, I will pass round to 0 0.1. Okay, so that that will round it to, to the nearest one. Um, tenth okay and this is useful because if even if I want to round it to the nearest half right I can just say round it to the nearest 0 0.5 and this will be rounded to 5.5 okay right so I want the miles to be rounded to round 2 um what did we say 0 0.1 and i want the minutes to be rounded to and i will round it to just one okay so in my do get function what I will do is I will receive an event object and in that event object I want to receive a from um, let's say start so that's, that will be our start address and I'm gonna say that's equal to event dot parameter dot start Okay, and the destination equals event parameter destination. Okay, let me just also change this to destination, and that I will change it to start. Okay, so just for consistency. Right, then what I will have is I will, okay, so let's call this const um, journey details equals, uh, oh, let me just also change this from, I think in the video he wrote it as a function that can be called from spreadsheet. That's why it has um, capitals there. So I'm going to say get journey details okay and perhaps let's just call this details okay so get journey details equals no so details equals get journey details and then start destination okay um, one thing we need to do here, obviously, is we need to return that. So we need to return uh, miles plus a comma and then minutes. Okay. So once we've got the details, I will create an HTML 
um, HTML service create HTML output and I will output that the tail string right so I think I think that's it so if I publish this um, so choose anyone even anonymous and I get this okay and uh, let's close these two let's see what we get here um, okay so let's pass something there let's say uh, parliament square uh, London so that will be the start equals that I'm going to change these spaces in, in just a second and destination equals um, let's say Buckingham Palace London okay and instead of these spaces I will put plus percent sign two zero plus okay let me just copy that and paste it here and also paste it there and paste it there as well right let's see what we get here okay so we've got an error um, start address is not defined oh okay so here because uh, we changed this to start and okay so we need to change this to start and we need to change this to destination that's why save that deploy it again make sure it's a new version update okay let's run this again perfect so I have got 1.1 and 5 minutes so that should be a 1.1 miles um, journey and it's, it takes 5 minutes let's see if that is the case on Google Apps on Google Maps so if you go to Google Maps let's see what we get uh, so we want a direction what did we say Parliament uh, square London to Buckingham Buckingham Palace in London let's see what we get perfect so mm, we have 14 minutes oh because we have walking there so let's say it's a car yeah so it's four minutes and it's a 1.1 miles okay um, let's run it again we got five minutes there so we have four minutes 1.1 miles um, let's run this again maybe there's some traffic uh, no we've got five minutes here and we've got 1.1.1 well anyway um, that's it it's 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 close enough I'm happy with that okay right um, so this is our uh, map service um, next what we'll do I think is we will write our Excel client um, and then we'll see how we can run this service from Excel to calculate the distance between two points um, in a in an Excel table okay right so if you found this you this video useful please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel 
and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.